And welcome to episode 14 of the Sheboygan Masked Singer. Today is our big reveal episode and our penultimate episode. So we are going to reveal those two characters that came so close, but still just kind of missed out on making the finals. Uh, that is the cat in the hat and the penguin. And it's so appropriate because I realized that both of those characters regularly wear tuxedos just like you did last week. I agree. So, um, you meaning my co-host here. So, uh, Mr. Hall, how are you doing today? Good. I just want you to know that my guesses have been so bad that I've had to hide in an underground bunker, and that's why I'm not at school. Yes. Who do you think is rocking out in that penguin costume? I am 100% confident in this one, Mr. Wells. 100%, okay? I, okay. I'm I've never forward. been more confident. Follow my logic, if you will. So, there is an aide that works in this district whose favorite song is We're Not Gonna Take It by Twisted Sister. In fact, anytime she's working with the kindergartners in like the cafeteria and they spill their milk or something, she always says, I'm not gonna take it anymore. And I know for a fact that that person is Mrs. Burr. Oh my gosh, I can so hear Mrs. Burr in my head saying that. She's and, singing. And I, I just have to add that not only does East Elementary have a Mrs. Burr, but when I was in elementary school, one of the fourth grade teachers, her name was Mrs. Burr. In fact, uh, I might even be able to get a hold of her and send her this episode because she might appreciate this. Uh, but yeah, that Mrs. Burr definitely was the, we are not going to take this anymore. Um, yes. Probably she would have said, we are not going to, because she didn't usually use contractions. She was very serious. See what the other panelists think. I think the penguin is Mrs. Burr. I feel like you started your career in a girl group. So I think, based off Destiny's Child, I think you're Kelly Rowland. Not nah, I down. All right, I'm Kelly Rowland. That's a good guess. Uh, I think that the penguin is Mrs. Bishop. I think the penguin is Mrs. Bishop. I think it could be like uh, like Don Robinson from On Vogue. You know, in I, Vogue. I think... <laughs> In Vogue? No, no, Vogue? you got it right. You got it perfectly okay. right. You, I, you do I, you. <laughs> Keenan. I've had no idea what's been going on this entire time, and I still don't. Seeing what I've seen today, I'm thinking down the Kelly Rowland Road as well. I've been going with the Destiny's Child um, for a while. I love Michelle Williams and Kelly Rowland. I think it might be Michelle Williams. But uh, no matter who it is, I'm sure that you have a career, a career either before and after this in music. Okay, panel, you made your final guesses. Now let's see if any of you are right. <clears throat> I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. Well, it's nice to see that students never change. Open your eyes, let's begin. It's me, it's Ms. Craig, breathe it in. I know it's a lot, the hair, the bod. When you're staring at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome for the wonderful songs I know. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. But come to think of it, I gotta go. You're welcome. You're welcome, and thank you. So, co-host, Mr. Hall. Yes. I'd like to have you guess, but don't choke on a furball. I won't. Who do you think is the cat in the hat? Is it a little bit of this or a little bit of that? Let's hear your guess. And don't make that guess a mess. Um, first of all, uh, don't, don't be a poet, <laughs> okay? That's what I'm going to start with. Let's not go into poetry, Mr. Wells. Uh, stick to music. But I have a great theory on this one, okay? Okay. I know there's a staff member in this building that loves cats, loves cats. And I also know that this person was eliminated earlier this season, and I think that this person was playing two different characters, one a rapper and two, more singing like this person normally does 
to try to mess with everybody. So, I, yeah, I think that you're messing with us, and you are indeed the cat in the hat. And because of that, you played a dog earlier. What's the opposite of a dog? A cat. So that's who I think it is. I think it's you. You know, I am going to uh, completely admit, first of all, that when I was thinking of, you know, the Joe Cool character, another character that came to my mind actually was a cat, Garfield. But maybe oh. I wanted to throw it off a little bit farther and went with the cat in the hat. Yeah, because I do love the cat in the hat, as you could hear from my wonderful rhyming. Well, yes. And in the first in the first video that, that you sang on as the cat in the hat, you were swaying your hips back and forth. And your hips don't lie, my friend. So I know it's you. You got new hips, so you're just shaking them like crazy. Yeah, I'm a little bit like Shakira that way. You are. Your hips don't lie. Don't lie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what the rest of that panel has to say. Let's roll the tape. So when it comes to my guest on The Cat in the Hat, I'm thinking it as somebody that really likes to read a lot. And uh, so my guess, my, my guess currently is that The Cat in the Hat is actually Mrs. Kronk. Uh, so... Let's see if I'm right. Oh, you know what? Everyone has the exact same guess, except for Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, Diana Ross. I said Diana Ross because that first time we heard her sing, I got legendary vibes, right? And then I saw a crown. I was like, the queen. I was like, Diana Ross, he Scott. Ah! <laughs> I'm a double down with Jenny. I'm pretty sure it's Taylor Dane. Taylor Dane, all right. Great guess. Now, everyone else on the panel wrote Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Woo! Robin, you sticking with that? Well, I started with Tina to stick with the amazing Tina Turner. I think the cat in the hat is Dr. Ackerman. Hi, this is Landon Tebow, and I know that the cat in the hat is Dr. Ackerman. 